Hi, this is part two. I wanted to make sure that I included just another minute or two about what's in the book about antidepressants in addition to the handout that I, I'm giving you guys. So I've taken my glasses off so that I can see this. That's why I look different. So on page 183 of this book, right, um, it talks about antidepressants, implementations, and evaluations. This is awfully good material that they have here. Um, the first page, in the, they've got a half page on 183 and a whole page on 184. There's some really good uh, points on this that you should take a highlighter to and make sure that you study and know about. When you get over to 185, they start reviewing the tricyclics, uh, the TCAs, and um, uh, listing the same ones that I talked about in my um, little piece. But they also mention, um, and then there's the MAOIs, but as you go through this, you're going to see on page 188 um, a nice little summary of what serotonin syndrome is and serotonin discontinuation syndrome, which I call serotonin withdrawal. Uh, there's, a, there's a nice paragraph on each, a little short paragraph on each that'll give you an idea of what to know about those two things. And those are really important because what they'll do in the exam is give you an example of a patient experiencing a certain set of symptoms. And um, it's going to be important for you to, to be able to answer the, the, the test question correctly. You're going to have to know that based on these symptoms, you're looking at somebody who's probably going through withdrawal or somebody who's, got, who's had too much. The, the symptoms are very distinct. So make sure that you know those. And then um, on page 189, what I neglected to talk about in my first little um, video is talking about trazodone and serazone. Deseril, they used to call it, but nobody, it's, it's never prescribed as a brand anymore. It's always prescribed as the generic. So everybody knows it as trazodone. In most cases, we're seeing trazodone being used as a sleep aid Technically, it is considered to be an antidepressant, but I don't know of anybody that uses it as an antidepressant. And serazone is the same way. But I don't see serazone prescribed very often. It's pretty tough on the liver a lot of the times. Then when you get down to the SNRIs, which is just below that, it summarizes uh, those drugs. And, it, and then in the middle or the, towards the bottom of the page of 189, it talks about Remeron which is mirtazapine, um, it is one of the uh, medications that we use with um, patients that have poor appetite. So it's important to know that this, this is a drug that will help people put weight on. It doesn't have very many side effects. but And um, then below that is a little piece about Wellbutrin that goes over onto 190 that I thought... They've got it classified. Remember I said that some people classify it as a tetracyclic and some people just call it other. Well, they've got it now uh, down as a norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor, uh, an NDRI, which is the only drug that's listed under that category. So I just wanted to make sure you knew about what these uh, points, were, where these points were in the book so that you could read up and learn more about it, as they say. Thanks. Hope you're having a good day.